feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answered a no, man. I Today we are looking at an animal that is sometimes called a bear, but it is most definitely not a bear. Today we are looking at the koala. First off, the koala is not a bear. It is a marsupial, meaning that it's related to the kangaroo, the wallaby, and the wombat. The koala can grow to almost three feet long and weigh in at 30.8 pounds. If I were to ask you what you knew about the koala, you might say something like they eat you cook to sleep and you would be correct. There are 800 species of eucalyptus trees out there, and the koala only feeds off of 50 of them. What you may not know is that the eucalyptus tree is poisonous. Now the koala gets away with eating this plant by having an organ called a cecum, which helps to detoxify the poisonous compounds also have special liver enzymes and special bacteria that help to eliminate these chemicals. Having such a restricted diet, koalas do have issues. One, the leaves don't back into the animals, and so to conserve energy, the koala sleeps a lot. In fact, they sleep 18 to 20 hours a day. This way, they aren't burning up calories that they might need. Another thing about their diet, koalas get a majority of their water from the leaves that they eat, so they rarely drink. But during periods of high heat, drought, and other times when the heat is poured on, koalas will seek out water to drink. Males mate at around three to four years of age, and females mature around two years of age. And they will continue to raise a baby every year for 10 to 15 years. Koalas tend to have a short gestation period, very similar to other marsupials. Their gestation period is just 35 days. The mother will have one baby, though twins are a possibility. They give birth in November through February. The baby is born blind, naked, and not fully developed, and they will spend the next six months of their lives inside the couch. After those six months, the young will ride on the mother's back, only retreating to the couch if they are frightened or scared. another 6 to 12 months on the mother's back. And yes, uh, baby koalas are called joeys. Around the time that they mature, the young will leave the mother. Now, let's talk about chlamydia. I think I mentioned this in another video, but it is not the same strain that infects humans. So what impact does the disease have on koalas? Well, it can leave them blind, weakens the immune system, and can leave them sterile. The IUCN Red Book lists the koala as vulnerable, and their population is on the decrease. Ladies and gentlemen, this ends our video for today. See you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not. Give the video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment or a question. Remember to never give up on yourselves and always keep learning. Lives are Tuesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays at 7 p.m. Hope to see you there. Goodbye.